Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Here is the new Remington PCR Hans. This one's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. We're going to get Eric over here to talk more about it. But it's new this year and it is super cool. Hey guys, here we are at SHOT Show 2020. We're going to go one of our new products for uh, this coming year. So we have launched in the last couple years the PCR, Precision Chassis Rifle, guaranteed sub MOA out of the box. First iteration had a key mod rail. Second iteration had an M-lock rail. And now what we have is the PCR Enhanced, or as we call it, the PCRE. So we're going to start from the, the rear of the firearm, work itself forward, tell you maybe some of the differences over the other ones, and uh, hope you enjoy. So what we started back here is we went with the new MDT adjustable buttstock. It gives us much, much more adjustability on the comb height as well as length of pull. Length of pull is huge, especially if you're shooting from non-standard positions. So you can get in and out of position to have a solid foundation on the gun. This also includes on the back end a couple of QDs in case you run, need to run a sling. And an M-lock piece on the bottom in case you want to run a bag rider so your bag has a little bit more real estate in order to, to, uh, to purchase. So moving forward, we have the AR or the grip area. Ours comes with a Magpul Myad grip. Uh, what we did here though, instead of keeping it as a standard AR grip angle, we actually rotated it back so now the shooter behind the gun doesn't have a twisted wrist and can now flex a little bit more comfortably. It also takes any AR market that's on the uh, AR grip that is on the market available. Moving forward, what we did here is on the left side of the gun, we recessed it. And the reason why we recessed it is no longer do you have to lift the back end of the gun up so you can get your magazine in while you're on the firing line in the prone position. Now you're able to just kind of slide it in and up and it's seamlessly, it's effortless and uh, it's just something that made sense to us. Next we go over the, the scope mount. So we put a recoil lug in here to further solidify the scope mount. And what we did was we ran our scope mount a little longer but beveled it so that way we can fit a 56 millimeter objective lens which is a huge problem on full length rails. A lot of times you have to make your, your scope rings higher in order to get the clearance needed for the larger scopes which means that your cheek well needs to be hired as well. So to, to fight that we're able to get the scope much lower and now your center axis and your bore alignment is much closer together which makes it easier to shoot. Um, you can see we got it in this field office research tripod and it's because we've built Arca Swiss or the 1.5 inch dovetail directly into the gun. So now uh, instead of having a bunch of adapters, now you can just slide it into your Arca Swiss or your dovetail and you're ready to go. In addition, if you don't have the Arca Swiss setup, we did a quarter 20 screw on the bottom for any camera mounts, um, Manfrotto's and such that you might have out there. You can still screw in the plate and then still use your tripod pretty effortlessly. Uh, went with an M-Lock front end on the handguard. M-Lock's the industry standard. They all come fluted and threaded from the factory and it will be available in 6mm Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 308. What I have here is a Remington 700 CP or as the chassis pistol. So what we did here, this model is shown in 6.5 Creedmoor. There's not many short barreled pistols out there in the marketplace right now. We've done significant testing on the 6.5 Creedmoor out of a short barrel and really it hits that sweet spot out to about 450, 500 yards. Um, if you guys have already seen our PCR or our chassis rifles, it's the same chassis, we just shortened the front rail up. We use the M-lock rail, uh, a zero MOA, cantilevered scope mount up top, an oversized bolt knob, 10 round magazine. Uh, the grip is it takes any AR standard grip and then an SB tactical uh, SBA3 brace. So it's very compact. Great for uh, use in a blind, great for uh, maybe somebody who is uh, physically challenged and needs something shorter to get around. And really, I use it for my sons as a, for youth. I mean, I'm able to, to really shorten it up and, and get a proper cheek weld and, and eye relief for it to be, uh, be very successful. What's the barrel length? The barrel length on this one is 12 and a half. So we'll, uh, we will come out with these in 308 and 6.5 Creedmoor. Nice. It's a hot item? It's very hot right now. Short barreled anything seems to uh, to really take off. Right. I, I know that's generating a lot of buzz. A lot of people want to know more about it. And now that I have seen and felt it, it's certainly worthy of its praise that, that people are giving it. Yeah, it has its uses, definitely. Um, and it's just pure fun. So why can't you have fun with it? 